Cody and Scale guys, next here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. In today's video, I've got another faction rally weapon. It is the Hollow Earth. Now, what's different about this one is that this was actually the reward if Dead Orbit won the faction rally last week. This is the weapon that we would have been able to get for a thousand glimmer or fifty thousand glimmer, depending on who you are aligned to. So basically, every week, as we know, if you don't win the faction rally with Dead Orbit, like say Dead Orbit don't win, their gun gets added to the loot pool in the next faction rally. So the gun just doesn't disappear. There is a good chance you'll be getting in the next faction rally. It just means you have to wait like a full month until you can get that gun. As you know, Pneumonic won the last faction rally with the Locator 4. So this was the only time we could get this gun. This is the quickest time we could get this gun basically. Is during this faction rally. So if you want to get this gun, sign yourself up for Dead Orbit. Get your tokens. I already said there is a bit of a farm for tokens. So do that. I got this within like 5 token packages. So 5 engrams. I already got this gun. Maybe I'm extremely lucky. So without further ado though, I'll go in and show you its perks. Hollow Earth. Do we need another reminder? This world is but a grave. Arak Jalal. So another quote from our faction rally leader, our lord and saver Jalal, the emo guy himself. It is an auto rifle of the vest kind. Now, obviously vest has never been my best friend, but I actually don't mind their auto rifles too much. Hopefully I can actually do well with this. It will remind you of the Valkyden. I think that's the name of it. It is another vest auto rifle. It will remind you of that. It just kind of has different perks. But with every vest weapon, we have rapid fire frame. Intrinsic perk is deeper ammo reserve. Slightly faster reload when magazine is empty. Now this can come in clutch sometimes with auto rifles, especially because you do burn through bullets pretty quickly. And it's on every vest gun. It's nice to have. For the first barrel attachment, we have arrowhead break. Lightly vented barrel. Greatly controls recoil. Increases handling speed. Next we have hammer forge rifling. Durable range barrel. Increases range. And then last, we have polygonal rifling. Barrel optimized for recoil reduction, increases stability. Now, if you're going to pick between these three, it's kind of the choice. I always, just a general thing, is to put extra range onto a gun. As I said, range is like an inherent stat. You can't change, you can only change that by putting on perks. But like when you're controlling handling speed and stuff like that, if you have good enough skill, you can cater for that if there's like larger. So that's why I always go for stats like range to boost that. So then for the middle tree, it's magazine. We have ricochet rounds. Rounds ricochet off hard surfaces, increases stability, slightly increases range. Then we have steady rounds, which is this magazine is optimized for recoil control, greatly increases stability, slightly decreases range. Now you're probably wondering which you wanna go for here. Not just because this increases range, I'd rather the bullets ricocheting off hard surfaces. As you know, I love the hard light. It's one of my favorite weapons. And that is mainly because the bullets like fly all over the place and can actually kill people around walls. It is nice to have things hitting off hard surfaces because you never know. It could come in handy and hit someone. And last but not least, we have Zen Moment, which is its trait. Causing damage with this weapon increases stability. Yes, we all know this perk. Honestly, that is a pretty good perk for an auto rifle because you're hitting a lot of shots. So the stability is going to increase a lot with the amount of bullets you're going to have to use to kill someone. So that is actually a pretty good perk to have an auto rifle. So that's why it doesn't look too bad. You got a decent amount of range. Stability is okay-ish. Handling's all right. And reload speed is pretty good as well. Now, obviously, you can get stability and handling up at the detriment of range if I put on some of these perks. But I'm just going to keep with the range to, like as much as I can. But without further ado, let's go into Crucible and see how good it is. Also, I forgot to mention, I am on my Shrexy little Titan here. I have not played with the Titan in a while. So, <laughs> I've been Hunter maining for a good while. Like, a, uh, yeah, the Dawning events last time I was on my Titan. Jeez, that was a while ago. So, uh, yeah, Pulse Nade Central. Let's go. All right, so loading into a game now. As I said, I do use a bit of auto rifles. I do love an Ariel's Gift. It is kind of a completely gun to Ariel's Gift. It's more of a bullet hose. It won't have the range Ariel's does as well, but it's its own unique, like, archetype. As Vest make very unique guns, this is kind of one of their unique ones. It looks pretty cool, and it can melt if you get all those headshots, like, consistently. But hopefully, I actually can do it justice and get those headshots. But we are on Endless Veil, the beta map. Uh, not a bad map for an auto rifle, I presume, but it's control, are you for real? Why can't I ever get Clash? Why does the game hate me and not give me Clash? Well, here's first looks of the gun. It is a bulky looking weapon. Like, it's a bit fat, or chubby. But, like, there's the aim. Like, ooh, the numbers, like, change. Ooh, what is that about? <laughs> it's like changing the chord to the X axis. Yeah, it is. The X axis makes the numbers change. I don't know what sort of design that's meant to be. But take my nade, take take the double nade, take the double nade. Oh, oh, okay, we melted him. I think my nade was killing him as well, though. Oh, he just got stuck in behind that wall. Oh, poor warlock. 
it isn't a bad weapon so far. What was it doing? About 13 to the head there? I think it was could have been 14, maybe because of the range, like 12. Yeah, it was probably 14. Mel, it can that's good numbers for an auto rifle. It can melt pretty quick, like 14 into the head is not bad. With the rate of fire that shoots at as well, that's pretty good. Okay, okay, there's the range. I'm probably not gonna get them. Oh, they're going for eight. No, what get off eight? Oh come on, I got him. No, no, get off A! Get off my bomb or my flag. Should I not even get an assist? I put that guy like dead. Ooh, what the hell is that? Tractor cannon. Oh my, someone get him now. <laughs> I just got punted to like the back somewhere. Jesus Christ, I have never seen people use the tractor cannon PvP. Oh, come on. Oh my God, I am getting people so weak. And there's the tractor cannon that kills me. Oh, we lost B. Okay, I'm going around for the off flank. Ooh ha Bye bye. There should be someone on B. Okay, I'm not gonna get him from range. But you can see the ricochet as well when I hit the wall there. It does bounce off. Now, it's not as. Uh, it doesn't look as cool as the L hard light. Okay, I hit him. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Yes, we got him. So, yeah, as I was saying, the ricochet doesn't look as cool as the hard light, but it does bounce. As you can see there. Come on. Oh, my God. He's so weak as well. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. He's so weak again. What is this? Okay, we got the assist. Why are they, they literally just get away as soon as they get them like to no help. Oh my. Oh, he's in a rift. Stupid warlock. <laughs> Why does this game hate me so much? Like I am melted them pretty quick. It's just things keep happening. Like they dip away just as soon as they're nearly dead. A warlock rift. Take my nade and just stay quiet down there. There we go. There's a headshot. Get away from me. Oh, there he is. Come from this side. Oh, I, I think I hit him, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> I was going for those ricochet rounds. Using the architects to my advantage. Oh, this one there. Oh my god, if he got away from me, I swear to god, I would have been pretty annoyed. Okay, he's down here somewhere. Oh my god, there they are. <laughs> oh, I can do this. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Oh my god, is he really going to get away from me? Oh, there's someone below me. Did I get both of them? I, I don't know. I got three. <laughs> I haven't used a Titan Smash in so long. No, he's not getting away. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Really? Okay. Oh, now we got my buddy. Ooh, as I, said, I haven't used a Titan Smash in so long. It feels good to actually be able to kill people with your super. Oh, but there's a melt. Oh, my God. No, what the hell? What the? He came out of left field. He just ran at me and decked me. What the hell? But like the gun itself, I'm actually it isn't pretty enjoyable gun to use. It does shred. It is a bit of a bullet hose. But like the damage it does is pretty consistent. Oh my god, he got away. No, 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 no. Okay, they're gonna super us real hard now in the last like few seconds. There's a daybreak. I knew it was coming. I could just tell. Oh, uh, I can go in there, but oh, shield V. Oh, the shield takes out the dawn blade. What? Oh, that's a shadow shot. Hit up, I hit someone and I hit a wall, I think. Oh my god, he's hammers. Oh my god, I wasn't even thinking. Oh, it's hammer v hammer. Oh, hammer's lost. Battle of the age is right there. Okay, we can get this guy. Okay. We, oh, we tra Oh, we got robbed your kill, but we got him. What the? Ariel's gift? Man, that melted me. Was I, not, I was at like half health, was I? I just got shredded. Whew, felt like cheese there. I was at, we went from like 100 to 0 real quick. Oh my god, we got him. Oh my there. god, the melt. Oh, that was a... Oh, we got him, okay. <laughs> I forgot how I beat him. Oh my god, there's a wall. Oh my... Did I shoot something? What happened? <laughs> I don't remember shooting that guy down the end. Maybe just one bullet ricochet around, maybe? I don't know. We got him. Oh man, we are melting some people right now. Oh, no! And the OD. And that is game, set, and match. It's like, it is a pretty good auto rifle, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you can feel it getting steadier with that Zen Moment perk. You can feel it getting steadier when you're shooting people. And with the amount of bullets you're wasting into them, it's pretty damn good. So first impressions of the gun, it actually is a pretty decent weapon. Like, it is really stable, and when you get those headshots in, the Zen Moment comes in really clutch. It makes it, like, literally laser in on their head. It is pretty good. But if you're going to compare it to something like, I don't know, an Ariel's, obviously Ariel's kind of in a class of its own, so I won't, won't try to compare it to that. But it is a good weapon like it's pretty stable 
It has good enough range. I wouldn't say its range is amazing, but it has pretty decent range and its damage is fairly consistent. Let's nade out though. Okay, we got one of them. I'm, I'm in a nade of some sort. I got a kill. <laughs> I take it, I, I suppose. <laughs> oh, there is a sun shot though. Oh, rocket launcher ammo. Someone has rocket launcher ammo of some sort. Oh my. Okay, we killed him. <laughs> I hate when the smoke, you can't see anything through it. Oh my god, no. No, no, wait, go away, which are doubling up. Oh my god, there's one there, though. What the, what? What the hell has happened there? <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm stuck here. No, he's gonna get the wall. Oh my god, I was just stuck behind that wall. How did I not hit him the first time, though? We, like, both missed the punch. These damn environments screwing us both over there. Oh, come on, he's so weak. There we go, we get him. Come on, we... Someone there to the right, real weak. Okay, we melt him. There's someone else over there. Oh, okay, watch our backs. Oh, oh, stay away from me with that stupid legend of Valkyrie. Is I, I just know it's coming. It's so if you ever see someone running at you like that, you just know it's a legend of Acrius coming at you because they don't know how to play the game and they have to use that piece of crap gun. Okay, there's some up there. Okay, he's. Is that Legend of Acrius? Yes, it is. I knew it was coming. What the hell is with everyone using that gun? Oh my god, I just hate that gun so much. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, he dipped out. Oh, we shredded him though. Oh, get that wall up pretty quick. I. Oh my god, he's coming from behind. Behind us, buddy. Behind us. Okay, I'm kind of just aiming this way because I don't want to get killed. We're all just hiding behind one of the wall in like the worst location ever. Okay, we melted him. Okay, he's just underneath us somewhere. What? No! What the? Where'd he go? Okay, okay, we got him. I was just sitting there going, how the hell does my uh, shoulder charge miss there? Oh! Oh, stay back. Stay back. Get the wall up. Oh, I forgot how OP those pulse nades were. My god, I forgot. Why did they ever stop being a titan? Okay, I saved your I saved your ass, buddy. Okay, uh, they're right above us again. Oh, there's another one there. Did I, did I get a did I get the double? Did, like I don't know what happened there. But man, we are going in right now. Okay, we got him. There's another one here somewhere. Oh my god, there's one behind us too. Oh no no. Okay, he's weak. I got juked. I, 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 my radar. I don't know what happened. I'm on 10 kill streak though. I just said I'm probably gonna die. Oh my god. Okay, let's keep this going. Let's keep it going. Uh, someone here. No, don't let him get away. What do you jump straight over a guy who had like no health? What's that about? They are pushing me hard. Bye bye. <laughs> what? No way. Serious. Uh, I'm not gonna get him. Okay, let's just dip out. Oh my buddy, will you let me go over here? I forgot how good Titan Smashes can be though. Oh no, he killed my kill streak. Ariel's gift. Ariel's gift, man. Had to had to end the fun. I was on like, oh, like a 14 kill streak there. Ah, oh, but whatever. The gun is actually it's a, I, I actually like using the gun a lot. It's real like steady when you get those shots in. The Zen moment on it is such good perk for melting wise. There's an A, take that please. I'm gonna kill this guy over here. Oh my god, the triple kill, man. Thank you for the tether. Oh, I didn't mean to sprinkle salt, but I meant to say thank you, man. That tether coming in clutch. Giving me the opportunity to get a triple kill. Okay, there's one at the back there. You might want to watch. One over here. Okay, ooh, melted him. Someone uses this. Oh, that's a... S no, I can't use it. No, no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I was trying to stick up my wall. Oh, we're gonna clean him up though. Thank you very much for the free kill. Don't let them get heavy. Don't let them get heavy. You think about getting the Legend of Acrius if you want. Oh, kill him, kill him. <laughs> no, sir, I am not letting you get that god awful. Go oh, it's an arc staff. Where's it from? Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. Come through my wall. I invite you into my house. Man, we went in there in that game though. Whew. Bamper down. Yeah, bamper damper down. I haven't had a good game in a while. Feels good, man. Feels good. And that is it for me and this Hollow Earth. Overall, the gun itself, it is actually a really good gun. It's probably the best, anyway, vest weapon of this archetyped auto rifle. 
I think overall in this archetype it would probably be near enough to the best. It's just the zen moment on that is just so sweet when you're hitting those headshots. You can just feel the gun get so steady and nothing's better than when you're getting those steady shots. But it just feels so good and then also has one of my other favourite perks which is ricochet rounds. I love hitting the bullets off walls and stuff and ricocheting onto enemies. It's just really good. Except the only downfall, well I wouldn't say downfall because... <laughs> It's never going to be contend with this. The Ariel's Gift is still a god mode gun. It's still up there. Like It it outranges this thing and out damages it real quick. You see in there, even though I was hitting constant headshots, I was still getting outgunned by the Ariel's Gift. And Ariel's has that high caliber range, which just makes your aim go to crap, basically. But like they're completely different weapons. Ariel's, I don't think anything's really going to come out and combat the Ariel's. Obviously, people like Positive Outlook and stuff. But Ariel's is just in a league of its own, to be honest. But do not discount this Hollow Earth. This is a very good gun. And obviously, I had to, I was just using this completely just to review it. I was just constantly using this. You have another weapon. So if you need that range, just switch to a scout or something. I mean, this is a very good choice to have as an energy weapon as a secondary. It's really quick rate of fire. It does pretty decent damage really quick. And it can melt really quickly if you get those headshots. It's probably one of the first vest weapons, except for Colony, which is an exotic. It's probably one of the first vest weapons I've actually really liked and I would recommend you get. So not a lot of people might not have much time to play it this week, the faction rallies. If you're looking for one gun, I would suggest this weapon because it is a bit better than the Valakaiden, which is the other vest weapon version of this. It is better than it, so it's not like you can kind of just get the Valakaiden and you'd be sorted if you wanted something like this. This is kind of in a league of its own in terms of that archetype vest weapon. So I would recommend that you grind to try get this gun. And obviously, if you don't get it in this faction rally, there is always next month's faction rally and the next month after that. It's in the loot pool now, so you always have a chance of getting it. But regardless, if you like the video, throw us a like and if you want to see more content, subscribe. Have a fantastic day and hopefully I will see you in the next one.